there are banks in Dubai that are Sharia compliant. Should I open an account there as the return is not interest in quotation marks but profit in quotation marks? Is the concept halal or not? Look, I've been telling you this a lot and inshallah we're going to do that class very soon on the principles of fiqh, fundamentals of fiqh. Once you study fundamentals of fiqh, you understand how fiqh is done, understanding of the religion. Most issues fall back to principles. When you study a principle, a lot of issues fall back to that principles. Okay? Issues of tahara, salah, business, they all fall into this one principle. Example of a principle, okay, is what? Whatever has more harm than benefit is haram. Whatever has more harm than benefit, whatever has more disadvantages than advantages, whatever has more cons than pros, this is haram for you in Islam. Anything falls, in, everything falls into that. Food, business, whatever it is. Okay, and the proof for that, because every principle has to have proof. What is the proof? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْخَمْرِ they ask about alcohol in Surah Al-Baqarah. Allah says, قُلْ فِيهِمَا إِثْمٌ كَبِيرٌ وَمَنَافِعُ لِلنَّاسِ Say to them, alcohol. Say to them, alcohol has what? It has a lot of sins and some benefit. It has what? It has... A lot of sins and some benefit. And Allah, Allah says what? وَإِثْمُهُمَا أَكْبَرُ مِنْ نَفْعِهِمَا That's about alcohol and what? Alcohol and gambling. Okay? Alcohol and gambling. And their sins are worse and outweigh the small benefit. That's why it's haram. So that is the principle. Anything, okay, whose harm outweighs its benefit, it is haram. What is the proof? The verse in Surah Al-Baqarah. Now you can apply that to everything in the religion. Okay? Now, once you know that, I'm just trying to emphasize my point, which is what? We have to study the principles of fiqh. For those of you who want to be serious, who have to be serious, students of knowledge. But now we come to this question. In the fundamentals of Islamic business dealings, fundamental of Islamic business dealings. It is this. We don't go with titles. We go with what is reality. If someone deals with riba, usury, interest, which is one of the worst sins in Islam, and he calls it profit, it doesn't change the fact it is riba. Okay? And that is when people ask questions, say, okay, is this transaction halal? Can I buy this? Let's look at the actual contract. It doesn't matter if someone calls it Sharia compliant. You look at the actual contract. If it is Sharia compliant, really, it's Sharia compliant. It's not about words. It's not about words. It's the reality. Okay? It's the reality.